Brandon Travis, explain this to me. How do landlords place really bad tenants? Great question, Luke. Step one, don't get a written application. If they're friends and family, it's going to work out 100% guaranteed. The second step would definitely be avoiding verifying their identity. Just go off who they say they are. They're probably telling the truth. Luke, you never want to speak to the previous landlords. References, who needs them? Instead of running credit checks, just trust your gut. And always overlook past due amounts to landlords. It's going to be different this time, they promise. Avoid running criminal background checks. I mean, they probably haven't committed any crimes, right? And pets? Never ask about pets because, you know, every pet's a great pet. You should definitely rely on falsified pay stubs. I mean, it's really difficult to go on the internet and just print something off, right? Always allow them to split their deposit up into payments because if they don't have the money now, they're definitely going to have it next month. Believe them when they say their identity was stolen. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. I mean, it wasn't them running up those credit cards or getting evicted. It was somebody who stole their identity. So if a landlord does all these things, I'm sure they're going to find a terrible tenant, right? 100% they are. If you want to avoid being like Luke and you actually want to find a great tenant, contact Home Ladder today. We run thorough background checks. We actually speak to landlords. We verify income and we don't get tricked by professional scam artists.